What's going on everybody? I'm Cujo and this is Minecraft. And we are no longer on the Wisteria server. Unfortunately, that server closed down. So we had to make our own way. And so we're playing a little bit of modded Minecraft now. And I'm I've you may have caught the stream the other day. I'm loving this game. So here we are. We're in our own little land. This is just us on this one. It's not a server. I have been playing the same mod pack on a server also. Um, just to, I'm, cause I've never played mod of Minecraft, so I'm kind of trying to learn how to do everything. And it's been pretty awesome. We got a little mob farm over here. we get some stuff. We can't really pick anything up right now, so I don't know why I'm killing people, but. But. So. If you caught some of the stream, I know it was, it was a long one, so I'm, I don't expect, why are you not dying? I don't expect people to have watched the whole thing. Um, I kind of got a little carried away with it. But. Nonetheless, we are here. This oh, we're trying to beat him with a with a. That's why our sword broke, and I didn't realize it. Like I said, I'm new to Minecraft. <laughs> we had a storage drawer with a bunch of cobble over here, and I picked it up because this place, this is like our beginning area. We had this little island. We made a sifting area over here. This is our little Enderman guy right here. Um, sifting area and a like cobble breaking up area over here. Today, I'm gonna try to get some stuff a little bit more. Um, automated. That's what modern Minecraft is all about. It's about automation. I need to pick this guy up. Um, there we go. That'll do it. We got it. So, let's see. Let's start out. We have our cobblestone generator that we picked up. Which is a very basic thing. But I think I'm going to make a couple of these. This one's just a tier two. So, I'm going to set it here. And I'm going to put our drawer on top so it can start getting refilled again. So, there we go. We got that. From there, I'm going to... I think I'm going to make another cobblestone. What do we need for cobblestone generator? I don't even remember. We're going to get into some tinker tools today. Cobblestone generator. Where's tier one? Right here. A bucket of lava and a bucket of... Does it have to... It can be cobblestone. Bucket of wa water, bucket of lava. Oh, we didn't make a, we didn't make a bucket of lava. We... Oh, we do have a bucket of lava. I kept it. I'm smart, almost. Um, so, let's get... Uh, I need another bucket, which means I need some iron. Oh, I got so much crap in my inventory. <laughs> I gotta try to get rid of this, some of this stuff. Let's just get rid of some of this cobblestone, because we don't need this much cobblestone in our inventory. And believe me, I know our storage is a mess. I know I'm going to pick up a bunch more cobblestone as soon as I walk back over that direction because it's all sitting right here. Yep, there's some. And there's some. <laughs> uh, what do we got? In the, what's in this guy? That's all of our bits and pieces. Um, we need iron. Let's make another bucket and get a bucket of water. We have the cobblestone in our inventory. Do we have any glass? left i do look at that we are prepared we're gonna make another one so this one is gonna be a little different though because we're going to make this one in a lava generator and then i'm gonna make another one that's gonna be an obsidian generator so we're gonna do a couple of these let's get our bucket where'd a bucket go there it is i found it so this one's gonna be our lava generator let's get the water um, let's do, get this. I need a crafting bench for it, of course. We will go like that and shift it over and we have our cobblestone generator. This one, like I said, is going to be our lava. So we're going to do a, we're going to put this up and then we're going to put a hopper down into a crucible. So we need our crucible. We need our hopper. We need to dig a hole down or it's gonna have to be up it's gonna have to be up higher for right now um to make this we're gonna have to we have a candle because that's all we have right now we will get something different which this isn't the best place. i'm gonna have to cobblestone out an area of this which i may do right now for our lava generation um because that's not the button i wanted to push that's the button I wanted to shift so i don't fall off because you can't put lava on wood obviously because it's gonna catch it on fire We'll do a little five wide offshoot for our fireproof area. And I think we'll probably go out five or four. Four is looking pretty good. That's where I wanted to place it. 
Ah, I think I like five. Five by five. Make it even. We need a candle over here. So for right now, if I can get a candle, candle that up so we don't get spawned. So we're going to put this right over here. We'll put it, we'll do this. We'll get that. And on top of that, we'll get this. That's not where I wanted to put that. Come here. Let's get right on here. I'm too close. There we go. And on top of that, we need to place a hopper, but I need to dig up so I can reach it. <laughs> so let's place our hopper right into here. And then on top of that, we need our cobblestone generator. There we go. Done and done. So that'll start making lava very slowly. And we'll move the whole thing down once we can. Um, and I'm going to make a tank. And I'll place a tank behind it or something. And get the the stuff going. And how much is a tank? There's one type of tank that, that I found in my other series that did not cost very much. And we may be even be able to do it right now. So which one was it? Was it this one? Basic fluid tank, redstone, and iron. That's all it takes. That's the one I think we did, and I did three of those. All right, everybody, so we're back. Um, I'm just finishing up here. We've changed some stuff around with the lava generation um, to make it a little more efficient and to get a little more out of it, and I'm probably going to make one more change while we're here on camera. So I have these transfer nodes, which are very simple to make. Transfer. I found these are very easy to make. The, the, the transfer pipe is what goes with them, which can transfer transfer liquid or solids so it's just redstone some stone slabs and some glass very simple and then a a fluid transfer node is a bucket some redstone a transfer pipe and some stone and then it's the same thing for the solids except the chest instead of the bucket so what we're gonna make now is our tank i forget what it needs i think it's just iron and redstone the basic fluid tank we're gonna make three of these so we need some redstone. I think we have enough redstone, and we need three times four is twelve. We need at least twelve iron ingots, which we have seven, but there's twelve right there. How convenient! Come into my inventory, and let's do three of these. So we shift and one, two. Oh, they don't stack, so you can't do it that way. Three. We had just about perfect. Okay, so how we're gonna set this up? And this is gonna end up running all over the place. We're gonna have. Our tanks. Let's get our tanks on our inventory bar. Let's get everything on our inventory bar. We don't need apples down here right now. We don't need these down here right now. We don't need a pick down here right now. We got everything we need. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to set our tanks up. Tanks are going to set right here. And we're going to go, let's hop up here. And one more. And we'll have three high tank. And then what we will do is from this, we're going to place, which one is it? Our items transfer node. So we're gonna do our items through the front. So we're gonna put a transfer node on here. You gotta shift it on, I, for, I keep forgetting about that. And then we'll, no, shift. And go over here like this, Shh. get on my way. Let's see, hey, ooh, I'm pushing the wrong buttons. There we go. Nope, and I pushed F to switch hands. It's going so smoothly. It was I had it all set. Okay, so we have one block of lava under here that's going to heat up these three crucibles, which is going to be fed uh, cobblestone through these transfer pipes. On the back side, this is gets a little more hairy. So on the back side, we're going to... We need three of these guys, the three of the fluids. So we're going to go boom, boom, and boom. And from there, we're going to get our transfer pipe. And I think I'm going to... Whoa, I was shifting there. And that did not make me shift. That's scary. And we'll go like this. Boom. Oh. Boom. And can I boom? Let's go around this side. Shift. I don't think this shift works on the crucibles. Um... Let's try straight from here. No? 
Am I in the block? Is that why? Oh, this is so scary. There we go. And see, that starts putting all the fluid into there. So now we have our... Do I have cobble on me? I do have some cobble. We're going to extend this out because this is scary. I'm going to do one more. I already did one more on the sides to extend it out. But we're going to go sides and back. Because it is getting a little hairy. So that's our lava generation, which we can use for other things like our um, obsidian generation, which is, I think, what we're going to get into right now. Um, so let's go set this up over here. And I'm running really slow because I need to food. I need, I need to food. I need to eat. I do need to food. That's what happens when you need to food so bad is you can't talk. So what we're going to do, so this is going to go... We're going to put our stone barrel like so. From here, we're going to get our fluid duct back on. And we're going to place this there. And then our transfer pipe is going to come out of there. No, there. And that's going to fill that up constantly. So, do I have slabs? I have some stone slabs. Let's get those on. But what I want to do first is I want to set... Actually, no, we got to get... We got to stop that. Let's break that. Incorrect, incorrect, incorrect. Okay. So what we want to do, I need a bucket. Do I have a bucket? I do have a bucket. We don't need the glass. So let's get our bucket. Let's fill that up. Let's break this with our pick because that's what we do. With these, we break them with picks. All right. So I needed to put, let's put my drawer here. So our drawer is down. Let's put our hopper going into the back of our drawer. I need to get out of the block. Thank you. And the, now let's put our barrel down. That's the part I missed. So put our barrel down there. Let's hop up here and we'll place our fluid node back on. And I believe this is connected, even though this one doesn't have any lava in it. I believe it'll go into here, but I'm not sure. I guess we'll find out together. Um, and our transfer pipe. And so I'm incorrect. So this won't fill up and this won't start going until it has enough lava. But, I mean, as you can see, it's going pretty quick. We're going good. Um, I don't know if... I think it's just the cooking time. Because it's staying up with the cobblestone, I believe. No, it's going down a little bit. So we might do an upgrade on our cobblestone generator over here. But once this gets filled up, it's going to go into there. But we can get this set before... No. No shift oh you can't do that there we go got it and we'll go there there I need to get her on the other side I can't see I really actually want to jump up here so let's build a little platform to stand on and I can break the corner ones out of these so it's not so bulky afterwards We'll go boom, boom. And let's break these corners out. Just so it's not so bulky. And we're going to get a bucket of water. And I'm sure you can tell where I'm going with this. So, in theory, like I said, I haven't automated this part of the, the thing yet. So we'll see how it goes. Let's get this down so we can hop up. I can't hop up there too high. Uh, boom. Okay. So let's put our bucket of water there. So every time this gets lava in it, it will automatically freeze up into obsidian from that water. And then it will get dropped into... Okay. Let's get this guy. And we're going to upgrade it. And I think it's just iron ingots I need. Let's see. I probably have some already. We got some here. So let's do boop. And that's not iron. This is iron. And we got to upgrade it upgraded to iron. All right. Let's go place it back down. I think it's looking pretty good. This is our good, our first step into automation. Let's make sure these are going up again. 13, 16, 22, 29. They're all going down right now. Okay, it's got 64. And the, the transfer pipes might be the what's slowing it down because they're... Oh, there it goes. It filled it up. So I think once it gets to a certain point, that's when it pops some back in. So we may not need that upgrade, but 
we're getting there. This is about half full. Once it gets up there, then we'll be good. But so we're going to pull out of this middle one. It'll automatically fill all the way up through. Um, and then we just have this guy. Just He's just our cobble generator. He's just chilling over here. Um, what else do we need to get set up? Oh, we need to get our smelting, our smelting station. Let's get all of our tinker stuff. Um, let's actually look at our quest book. Where did I put it? There. Put it a different button because I was using it on the laptop. Um, quest book. So we need... Okay. To the nether. Right here. A little tinker. So this is what we need. We have a crafting station. We need a part builder. So let's see. What, let's go back over here where our wood and our supplies are. Part builder is a blank pattern, which is just sticks and wood. Go back up to the part builder and we'll shift that in and we'll go, let's do like eight of those for now. And then back to the part builder and we're missing a chunk of oak. So let's build the part, part builder. We got it. What's the next piece we need is the stencil table. So let's go back in here. Stencil. Stencil table is pattern and an oak plank. Got it. And the next pattern chest right here. So it's just oak planks and pattern. Got it. And the next piece is, and we made it. And that should complete that objective, that quest. So let's see what we get for that quest. So that's uh, this one. A little tinker. Let's see what we get out of this guy. Something cool, hopefully. A night, oh, night vision charm. Allows you to see in the dark. So you can put it on a helmet, it looks like. Let's see, will it go in bobbles? No, it looks like I have to fuse it to a helmet. We're gonna keep that. That's an awesome, I like night vision. I like to be able to see at night. So the next thing we need to do is get our smelting station, which we need seared bricks. Seared bricks right here. So seared bricks come from grout. Grout is sand, gravel, and clay. We can make all of this right now. The sand, I don't know how much we have. Let's check, or we can do it with clay, gravel, and sand. Okay, it's the same thing. We get two out of that. And we, okay, we just get eight. It's just a differing amount. So gravel and sand. Um, dust is for clay, so we'll get that. We'll get two stacks of that. Um, let's go get nine stacks of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. And we're going to compress these. And I'm going to get these going. I'm going to get everything made, um, so we can make those seared bricks. And I'll bring you back in once we get everything made to make the... Or once we start building the uh, smelting station. BRB. All right, everybody. So we're back. And as you can see, I'm down near the void. And I possibly could have died a couple times. Um, but we'll, we'll talk about that later. So up there, the big concrete pad is an enclosed room. And I'm making it into a, an automatic sieving room. I've figured out a way to automate our sieving. And... So I made this giant concrete pad, put a bunch of candles in, and I was like, well, I can't have the can or torches and not candles. I can't have the torches in there because then the sieves won't go on the ground. So I knocked all those out and then proceeded to knock a hole in the ground to place the glowstone. And we had some issues with that. So <laughs> we're working right now to figure out a way to... Um, Get back in there because it has become a giant mob farm. So we're trying. What I have an idea of what I'm gonna try to do is oh, not that, not fall down again. As you can see on the map, there are tons of mobs in there. So what the plan is? We're gonna go like this, and we'll see if we can do this. Oh, jeez, this is scary. I don't, I've never done this before. Oh, and that's what makes this scary. Get back in the water. Get back in the water. Okay. Get her in the water. 
I didn't mean I placed it too high. And that's caused us an issue. We were almost there too. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, I just got to stay in the water so we can climb up here. I thought you'd like to join me on this little adventure we're having. All right. But that actually may help us in the long run. If I can get the block to place there. Nope. Yeah, let's back up this way. Holy cow. And then... So that, that actually helped us. Let's see if we can get this up there. We have one light up there. Okay. Oh. I don't think that... That's not going to kill him. I may have to take a sacrificial death to get everything out from under there, but let's go like this. We have candles, so let's use our candle or torch. Why do I keep calling them candles or torches? All right. Tell you what, there are some scary noises coming from in here, though. I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to get them cleared out. I know if I die, they'll clear out. So I don't know if that's what we'll do if we'll open up the top. Okay, we're, we're good. We're good. We don't need to be out this far. Oh, it's so scary sounding. What is that noise? Oh, jeez. Oh. Well, I guess that's one way to get rid of them. I need to get over there before they spawn back in. Where's Where's my home? Here's my home. No, that's not, that's not my home. This one's. Which one's my home? This one, I think. No. This one over here. Yeah, this one. This one's my home. I found it, guys. Don't worry. They're running really fast right now. Okay, go quick. Go quick, go quick, go quick. Okay, there's already a creeper. There's already a creeper. Dang it. There's already stuff spawning in there. I didn't make it quick enough. We need blocks. Um, sure, we'll climb on dust. Oh, there's spiders. You're trapped. Oh, oh, who's shooting me? Where's the skeleton? Thought I had this all lit up. I really don't know where that skeleton shot us from. Okay. I think we got all our stuff. Yeah. Don't look at the Enderman, please. Okay. I could have swore I had this all lit up up here. Maybe I was wrong. Oh, I probably... Because I took him down. That's right. I still don't know what we're going to do about those guys inside there. Oh, we didn't pick it all up. Okay, let's take a look at down in here. Get our, our tools arranged correctly. All right, let's take a look in here. It's very tempting to just vein mine it. I think we might do that. It's very dangerous. Let's stand on this over here. I don't know if our pick will make it the whole way through, but we will find out. Oh, the spiders are going to be able to get... Oh, I just threw my pick. I just threw my pick, and the spiders can climb up here. And we're going to die. We're going to die again. Oh, no. Oh, no. Our base blew up. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. We died. <laughs> 
All right. I'm going to I'm going to fix this and we'll be right back. All right, I just recorded about 10 minutes without or thought I recorded 10 minutes without it recording. So we got our place all put together. We decided to change our plans and put the lights in the ceiling, which I like much better. Um, we need four more glowstone lamps to make the whole thing good. So what's going to happen? This is going to be filled with a giant sieve. Um, we had There's a block that we can use that is a mechanical user. Hi, cow. And the user we can put in the middle of it. Let's say if this was our thing. We'll put the mechanical user here. It goes. It can go five blocks in either direction. And so we're going to put it in the middle of a nine by nine. And that's only four blocks in either direction. Um, so it should be able to use all the sieves. So we have a lot of sieves we got to make. And then the reason for the room is because when, when you use this mechanical user, when you're done sieving, the objects that you sieve shoot all over the base. And it'll never pick them up. So what the plan is, is I'm probably going to have, I think, four um, diamond chests with advanced item collectors on them around here somewhere in here maybe in each corner or at each carnal direction and those will pick up all the things that are sieved and then we'll transport those through pipes to a probably a drawer system and have everything placed in there and compactors mostly compacting drawers because all it'll be all the ores that we get and that's what we need because we really need coal um our this isn't really keeping up we may once we have i mean we have 61 of this we could probably break that and take it back and so that this can actually fill up with lava again because it won't it wouldn't fill up because this is constantly taking out of here as fast fa as fast or faster than it can put in and so it was never filling up but once we get this once we get the the reason i converted over to doing the sieving is because we need coal for the seared bricks and we need i want to get eulorium because once we get eulorium these we can put the eulorium blocks underneath instead of the lava down there and these will at, see how it says rate times three up in the corner up there that'll go to times 20 and we'll produce a lot more lava out of those and it'll be able to keep up and then we can plug our thing back in we have enough obsidian for for the point right now um once we get our lava generation up and running a little faster and more efficiently then we'll plug that back in and let it go again because we don't really need a whole lot of obsidian right now but like i said i'm gonna get some stuff going on this and i'll be right back all right so we are back so i had to take a little diversion the machine that we need to make we need to have uh some other machines to get to that the mechanical user that we're gonna put in here but we have our stuff set up here let's put these in while we're here um do, do. So right in the middle here where this torch is, that's where the mechanical user is going to be, and it will auto sift our stuff for us. So we're going to head over here. I've made some other items. I've made a, what is this one? A uh, sterling generator, which I think generates 40 RF per tick with whatever you put. It can burn like anything combustible, I think. So we're just going to set this right here, and we have an alloy smelter, um, which is, whoops, which is one of the machines that we need to um make the thing make the uh, mechanical user so now that we have that we can get let's see if i have any logs oh we have 21 logs here okay let's just put these logs in just to get it generating some electricity i don't know if this is the most efficient fuel for it but it will go in okay it's making 30 rf per tick with this type of fuel i don't know if it changes with different fuels but it looks like there's an upgrade. A double layer capacitor gives you 2.5 efficiency and octatic capacitor, which is a ways away from where we are. So what we need in here, if you look at, so let's look at our mechanical user. Um, I was gonna make sagmel too, but I ran a redstone. So here's our mechanical user from extra utilities too. So we need a resonating redstone crystal, which means we need more redstone. Um, and you need the redstone alloy, which is silicon and redstone. Both of the, oh, let me see, where do we get this stuff from? Is it, can you get it from sifting the same thing? I don't remember. Um, over, over, okay, what do we get this from? This is from sand, sifting sand. I don't know why it's not showing sifting up here. 
But I know you can get silicon from sifting sand, I thought. No, no, you can't. You do have to sag. So we'll have to sag mill. So we'll have to create the sag mill. So we need to get a redstone first. So let's get back into here. Let's go look at our redstone. What do we get this from sifting? There it is. From dust. So we got to sift some dust out on at least iron mesh, which we have. We don't have diamond yet. So we're going to get some dust. I'm going to get some more uh, grinding gun. So far, how many? How much? Uh, we disconnected this. So this would fill up. <coughs> because as you can see, 62, that's all we need for now. We don't need a ton of that because what we're gonna use that for is for upgrades for our tinker stools. Um, so I'm gonna get some dust made up and I'll be right back. All right, so we did a little sifting. Um, we got some sand made up, we had some dust already laying around in the chest and now we have our sag mill. Sag mill, why is it no power? Because is it just feeding this, is that why? Oh, it ran out. Um, we gotta grow some trees. I got some blaze powder. One. This stuff, I think, will catch things on fire if it's sitting on a test. Let's do a test here. It seemed like this will catch stuff on fire. Like, like, uh... Let's see. Let's get a block ready. It's the loudest cow in the world. It seemed like this was setting stuff on fire before... Yep, there it is. So, blaze powder will set stuff on fire. Um... That's why I made everything in there cobble, too, because in my test server I play on, what would I come over here for? Oh, wood. We need wood saplings. So let's get this some power going. But we'll see, you know? We'll see how it goes and where it takes us. And did I not pick up... Oh, there they are. <laughs> I was like, did I not pick up any wood? All right, so this is going... Let's get some sand chucked in here. Okay, so look at all that. So, oh, I forgot this. We put that in. I think it gives you... What's it do? Oh, wait. Outputs. You get, like, a higher chance of a bonus out of it, I guess. I think is what it does. And you put some flint in there, so... We're gonna do that. I think that's all the silicone we'll need. Let's do two more. Okay, so then it's even. Okay, so we have silicone. Let's do this. It's on furnace all smelting mode. We needed five of these, I think, correct? <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna get these smelted up, and once we get over to actually building the the mechanical user, I'll bring you guys back in. All right, I'll BRB. All right, everybody. So I just looked at the time, and that's gonna be all we have for today. So I know we we're gonna get to the automated sifting stuff, but it's not going to work out right now. We're going to have to wait to the next episode. So thank you all for stopping by. If you liked the video, please don't forget to hit that like button. Show a little support for the channel. We're going so close. The last couple days, it's been a couple days since I actually recorded this last part. Um, I'm kind of mixing it in because as I, was, as I was editing, this video was getting extremely long and I had to cut it off. So I had to record a post date ending to the episode, I guess it would be. Um, so uh, the channel's been going up and down the last couple of days. I don't. I've had some new subs come in. I've lost a couple subs. Um, we're kind of bouncing right around the 98, 99 subscribers, which is, it's it's so stressful. Like I just want to hit that 100 and get it over with. It's been so long. But anyways, thank you for stopping by. Please hit that like button. Subscribe if you like what you're seeing. If you want to see some more Minecraft and uh, soon to be Ark coming out action. Um, and thank you for stopping by. And we'll see you all later.